You know black folk. Getting a little dark. You just want to be you, right? Your own look, your own story. Hey, what's up? You just want to have some fun. You don't want to deal with someone offering you a drink. <clears throat> don't have to, don't need to. Sure, it may seem like everybody does it, that some kids think it's cool. Mr. Would you want to embarrass yourself or say things you'll regret later? Or hurt the feelings of someone you care about? I don't think so. So the next time someone offers you alcohol, remember, you don't have to drink to have a good time. Hey. You know why? Sorry, gotta lose the beer. Because for kids who drink, the party is already over. To make a difference in Pasadena and Altadena, contact Day One at 626-229-9750. Become a youth advocate today. Oh, look at us running. Oh, We're in the sky. Plastic ones last longer. Pork bellies closed steady due to speculation that demand for bacon related products. Read me this one, Daddy. Okay, honey. The less art kids get, the more it shows. Are yours getting enough? Art. Ask for more. Americansforthearts.org. You get to look and see. I don't get to see. I'm the gem. In the Pasadena sky, there are some Harley people outside of the studio ra ru running their mufflers. Can, I'm glad you don't hear them. He was playing, Please playing music before. And that weird voice that you hear in the studio with me is my <laughs> guest tonight, Barack Obama himself, impersonator, Ronnie hello, Bumley, hello, Jr. Hello. Thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure. You know I love you. I can't believe you had the show. I had to ask you to come on. <laughs> That's what it's all about, people. It's about making people want it. That's right. If I just was like, hey, you want to be on my show? You want to be on my show? Oh, then I would have been like, mm, she's kind of needy. I'm not interested. Exactly. You always have to be like, I'm just doing things and be breezy. And the next thing you know, people are trying to ask you for dates. Can I get booked? And I went to you. And I exploited you. I told everyone on uh, my email blast and on Facebook and Twitter that I actually had Barack Obama in studio with me. Oh, so you lied. That's correct. Yeah. Because, I mean, you've got to use your tools. <laughs> you got to use your tools. Now, I have to say that I actually got that email blast from you a day earlier than usual. Why is that? Because, Ronnie <laughs> Butler, and I'm learning my whole social media cues from you, you've got to promote your shows before your show <laughs> actually, the show actually airs. Exactly. Right. <laughs> and I didn't know that you should do that. I didn't know that you should tell people maybe even 48 hours, <laughs> 72 hours, maybe even a week before. Who knows? Get them knowing about things. I guess that's why people use commercials and trailers and stuff and Well, people have lives. They want to schedule. Yeah. And this show, everyone, as you know, is a live show. 
Oh, oh my, your fans are already Telefono. calling. Telefono. Donde esta? Por favor. <laughs> Quiero telefono. That's right. This is a live call-in show. The number is 626-794-2116. By the way, it's taken me 13 episodes of doing this show. To memorize the number. Because <laughs> I used to be like this. I tweeted the number all day today. Yeah. So you, uh, if you don't know the number, go to, go to my Twitter page and just look at my tweets. Ronnie Butler. At Ronnie Butler. At Ronnie Butler. You're at DeHaley, one word, like Iman. But Cher. you are also a Ronnie Butler Jr. You I am a junior. Notable fame. Yes. So people may be like, is this Ronnie Butler? The uh, I had Bahamian one person I had lit- one person last legend. week talk to me like I was my dad. Talk about me like I was my dad. Because my dad has some sort of risque blue, if you will, songs. Oh, and they wow. were talking about all kinds of details about it. And I was like, I don't think that's, that's not that me. <laughs> um, so let me. Not that I'm above that. Of but, course you're not. But not on Twitter. No, not on Twitter. First off, before we run some clips of you as okay. Obama, I want to find out if this caller is actually for us. And it's not. It it's was not. a telemarketer. Okay, people. Oh, I told good. you all to call. Okay, great. So this is... Everyone, you wanted to see Barack Obama, so we will show you Barack Obama. We will show Ronnie Butler Jr. as Barack Obama, our president, um, and get ready for the ride of your life. 626-794-2116, he would like to hear exactly how he fared after we show this clip. Oh, my goodness. Okay. No, I don't know if I want to know that. No, what are you doing? It's right here. I can do it myself. <laughs> we have we were having like demon technical assistance. We are doing technical assistance. Just I am a very astute lady. I can do this. Ready? In five, four, three, two, one. Oh, you have to make it full screen. Well, Mr. President, the numbers say there's a disconnect between the reality of what you've accomplished and the public's perception. The people think you're failing to be the model of modern reform and change that they were promised. Really? Mm-hmm. I disagree. I am the very model of a modern U.S. president, a liberal one at first, but now it seems I have a centrist bent, and though my popularity is waned, I am not hesitant to say I've done quite well so far, although I lacked experience. We pull the country back from cataclysmic economic woes. We're fighting in Afghanistan and focused on our deadly foes. In short, I'm firm about my goals and vow that I shall stick to them. And though I'm black, Joe Biden says I'm clean and quite articulate. And though he's black, Joe Biden says he's clean and quite articulate. And though he's black, Joe Biden says he's clean and quite articulate. And though he's black, Joe Biden says he's very clean and quite articulate. In spite of special interest, I have pushed through major health reform. The country was in uproar. Who'd have thought it caused a major storm? By fighting to give basic health care to each citizen for free, I inadvertently gave rise and reason to the Tea Party. The issue is divisive. I have made a lot of enemies. A congressman lost his control and even said you lie to me. But listen, because the odds are 10 to 1, it is a certain bet. The only time I lie is when I say I don't smoke cigarettes. The only time he lies is when he says he's with the cigarettes. The only time he lies is when he says he's with the cigarettes. The job is stressful, so get off his back. He needs a tiny cigarette. I'm too ambitious. Critics say my expectations are too grand. But if we cannot rise to this occasion, I think no one can. It's tough not pleasing everyone. I'm just a man. I do my job. If Sarah Palin shoots her mouth off one more time, so help me God. The corporate greed, the BP spill, and rising unemployment costs. Extremist right fanatics, immigration, where to put a mosque. And in between, I kiss Michelle and hang out with my daughters too. I even walk the dog sometimes and clean up stinky doggy poo. The hardest thing about his job is cleaning up the doggy poo. He needs a free world and he's also picking up his doggies. He's got the best work for the public and he's stripping stinky doggy poo. I hearken unto Lincoln and I still believe in compromise. I just require sanity and reason from the other side. So take my word and don't believe a single thing Fox News has said. I am the very model of a modern U.S. president. So take his word and don't believe a single thing Fox News has said. He is the very model of a modern U.S. president. Thank you for that, playing that. Thank you. I have to plug myself also because it's not enough that this is my own show. Well, you have to applaud <laughs> yourself yeah, for my video? Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> no, first of all, amazing. Thank you. You wrote the lyrics. Yes. Did you also um, orchestrate? Uh, did you? No, the music, the, the music, music is, it's a parody of Gilbert and Sullivan, Modern Major General. Oh, right. It's a very right. talky song. Right. And um, when I was thinking of a parody, I, you know, Obama's always accused, was accused a lot 
lot of being verbose and all this kind of stuff by his right. detractors looking for something negative. And we don't I thought, want an intelligent president. That's stupid. Yes. I want no one someone that can I, actually talk. I want someone I can just have a beer with. Yeah. That's all I want him to be able to do. Um, so I, I thought Gilbert and Sullivan was a good match. So yeah. Gilbert and Sullivan is the music. Yeah. And then I wrote the lyrics and did everything else. That you know, is fantastic. People in the chorus are my friends. I think I may have called you to ask you to no, join that. You didn't oh, no, 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 no. I think I did. I no, you I didn't. Did. A, you didn't ask me. <laughs> B, I was, I have done, uh, I, I told you I do Michelle Obama and uh, did not even <laughs> use me as, it, it's actually a really painful, it's bitter, painful to watch. And that's why I'm I wanted so to bring this on just to be like, you wronged me, okay. sir. You're well, wrong. I believe that then I cast you in a, a, a another one that and something another project that I had upcoming, and then but then you're no longer interested in doing that. Has you're focusing. That sh- has that project even been shot? No, because no, ex- no. I was not the one <laughs> who said. Yes, that I down. did. You were the one. You said, you know what? I'm going to focus on writing right now. I'm not going to. F- I'm. I, but thank you, Ronnie. I love you, but I'm focusing. I think I really need to focus on my writing right now. That's what you said, and I had. I went out and asked somebody else. Are you talking about Blaba? Oh, shh! Yes, that's what I'm talking about. First of all, you know that that is not... Yes, maybe that's true. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Again, it's all in effort to create mystique, mysteriousness, and you wanting me She even said, more. crossing her legs. That's what I was saying. I was like, do you really want this, Ronnie? You're going to have to work for it. You notice that I get the first obstacle, I went, okay, and went and moved <laughs> no. on to pick somebody else. What does that say? What does that say? Path of least resistance. That's like, me. I'm done. That's fine. Thank you. You're I really welcome. appreciate yeah. that. It's like an agent. Yeah. You don't want to work? That's fine. That's fine. There's other people. Other people do. There's other things. Um, I have just tweeted... That they should be what? Oh, did someone tweet you back? Um, yes, Aaron Quill commented. So, Ronnie, are you on Mad TV now? No, Aaron, I'm not on Mad TV. I'm on Our Town, Pasadena, with DeHaley Hall, who's a former cast member of Mad TV. That's right. And for all yes. you guys who do not know, Mad TV has been off the air for two years. <laughs> <laughs> like almost three years. So, yes, I played actually Oprah with the Barack Obama uh, of that of, of Maggie, that cast of that cast um, but um, I did a really fun clip yeah. uh, with uh, uh, Jimmy Kimmel did an Oprah sketch where it was like o- Oprah the musical you know oh, it was like really? Oprah uh, it was Phantom of the Opera Oh my yes. God, that's funny. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was I was uh, her secret love. We had a secret love, Oprah and I, as Obama. Oh, that yeah. is very sexy. It was cute. How much work are you getting as a, a Barack Obama impersonator? Uh, it, it varies. I I don't chase it. You know, um, I'm I I prefer to be known as a character actor. Right. And um and I and Barack is is one of the things that I do. Um, there there are a couple of other Obama impersonators in the country that that's their full-time gig that's right. what they do and they chase down that work i don't chase it down as much as i could having said that you know when uh, the midterm elections were around it got really busy because there's a lot of work and yes and uh, the video has gotten a lot of play and because of that i get a lot of inquiries and, oh, and that's, that's picking great. up now i've got a couple of jobs between now and june i have three or four jobs oh that's amazing. they're all they're all like corporate things though okay. those are the people that have the money right. <laughs> republicans um, <laughs> so, so what do they do? They hire you and they throw things at you? Not at all. No, no, that. no. They they want they they they, 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 they hire me and and they ask me to write. You know, I, I do like an introductory speech and sort of make fun of the CEO or whomever. And you know, they and people love it and they'll come up afterwards and they do pictures and meet and greet and they'll all be like, you know, I really hate Obama, but this is fun. You know, <laughs> <laughs> oh, until you see it's a news, really weird, yeah. Right until that comes out, then yeah. you want to run away. Yeah. Um, okay. Great way for me to just bring in Lynchy and then move on. I know, right? That's what That's... this show is about. Segway. Segway. <laughs> um, also, so how long did that take you to to do all together, like time wise? Uh, the video. Yeah, the video. I mean, if I collapse it all. Yeah. Uh, we uh, two days of shooting. Okay. And about maybe five, six days of editing. Oh wow, that's awesome. You know, awesome. that's 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 two two days of me going through all the footage and picking out the best stuff, and then right. four days of the editor putting it together. That's great. Yeah. Well, now that we've established that that is one of your characters, let's yeah. let's go back to the beginning. 
<laughs> oh, wow. How far back are we going? <laughs> Ronnie Do we have time? Butler Jr. Spermatozoa. <laughs> okay. Where did you come from? Tell us, give us your artistic journey in a nutshell so that people know um, how you got your start, where they've seen you before, and just, just take us to all the way up until March 21st, 2012 in about three minutes. Maybe oh, I think, two I think minutes. I do it. Okay, two minutes. Yeah, do it. Your time. Name that tune. <laughs> um, originally from the Bahamas. Uh, my dad is the number one recording artist there, has been since the late 60s, and his name is Ronnie Butler as well. So I'm okay. Ronnie Butler Jr. Grew up um, singing with him on and off. Uh, never pushed me into show business. Was always like, you know, go get an education. My mom's a ballroom dancer, still oh. teaching dancing. Um, but I went to college, studied history and economics, moved to D.C., started working for a law firm as an economist. And uh, in the summers, I was taking off to study theater. Wow. And after studying with uh, the prestigious Atlantic Theater Company, that's uh, the home of William H. Macy and Felicity Huffman and David Mamet and a couple of people you've heard of. I think I um, have. I studied with them um, several summers, and then they invited me to join the company. I quit my job, moved to New York, started doing theater. Wow. Um, did regional theater, commercials there in New York, mostly musical theater. Came out here on a lark for a vacation, got a job doing Aladdin at Disneyland. Wow. Stayed because it was L.A. and I could audition for film and TV. Um, after a year and a half or so at Aladdin, quit and jumped into film and TV full time. Got an agent, got a manager. Did an HBO film called Everyday People. Um, I, yes. Which is a wonderful film. Yeah. It's a great, um, great opportunity. It took me back to New York. Shot there, but that went to Sundance. You know, and that yeah. led, that's how I ended up getting representation here. Right. And, um, and then just jumped into film and TV and have been um, focusing on that since. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. That's the story in a That was show. very well told oh, and in a very quick way. I, uh, most recently, I spent two years working on a, a Nickelodeon um, live action wondering. sitcom You're called True t- Jackson VP with Kiki Palmer, who's wonder- the, just an amazing cast, and Kiki's so lovely. Um, you might know her also from Aquila and the, the Bee. Yes. And she just, she just had a movie out a few months ago with Queen Latifah and um, Dolly Parton. Oh. I don't remember the name of it. Okay. Um, Bring, um, oh yes, that's right. Joyful noise. Joyful noise. Joyful noise. Um, Todd, everybody, Todd in the building. Yes. Can you wave, Todd? No, nobody. Um, no, it's not your show. And so when that show wrapped, I was, I was, I, I had been wanting to uh, create my own thing. I was looking at, um, I want to do directing and some writing, and I wanted to start with shorts. And I thought, you know, I had this idea for the Obama piece on on the back burner for a while, and so I thought, let me just see what I can do and see how it works and what I like and right. what I don't like and. That's yeah. great. And uh, your title for this show is Actor, fi- actor filmmaker, filmmaker with two M's. Yes. That's Film, amazing. Not filmmaker with but one film M, but filmmaker maker with two. With two M's. Brilliant. <laughs> Everyone, to call in, it's 626. Yes, call in. 794-2116. Please call in. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear what you thought of Modern President. Again, it's 626-794-2116. <laughs> Just want to let you know. You do that so well. I know. I feel like I'm like. <laughs> I, I feel like call. The, I I've been listening to like you know when they call it for the pledge drives. And yes, exactly. Like, that's how like I NPR, feel like I am. You're yeah. so honest. Um, what was I gonna say? My, I my family on my father's side um, are uh, Bahamians. My father's Jamaican, but moved to the Bahamas, so a lot of his younger siblings are actually Bahamian, and most of my family has relocated in Nassau. And my uncle, well, he's actually my father's first cousin, but I just call him Uncle Hugo Mm -hmm. because he seemed like so much older (laughs) than me, but like now it's like he's not. But um, he was like, really? He was so excited to see that you were coming on. And he was like, "I please, I want to see the show, so I'm definitely going to... All of my guests and all of my viewers, I am working diligently on getting you archival sh- of the of the show so that you can be able to watch that, but so that they can really tune in and see um, you. and And it's great to have almost like an homage to your father by by, by having so many musical pieces. You know, um, it's it's um, it's so wonderful when I when I first came out with Modern President and then with with the second piece. You know, uh, they call I get. I go on the radio, you know, I call in from LA, they put me on the radio, they interview me, and right. they were responsible for like that first, you know, seed of big hits on YouTube that helped the the thing proliferate and they're very 
they're very proud of their countrymen that go abroad and oh, sort of make it big. That is it's very awesome. exciting. It's, it's it it um I'm very grateful for it. Yeah. That's really cool. We have a lot of uh wonderful popular people that came out of that little island. Hello. 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 Caribbean people one? represent Sydney Poitier. Sydney Poitier. Um, Roxy Roker. They call me Mr. Tibbs. <laughs> <laughs> call now if you want to support Bahamian comedy. 626 <laughs> <laughs> You have such a great laugh. Oh, thank you. I, um, uh, do you remember me laughing? That, do you remember how we met? I think we should talk about how we met. Do you remember how we met? Do you know how we wait, met? Wait, is it scandalous? No, not okay, at all. Good. No, yeah, you, you were wearing clothes. It. Okay. Uh, okay, this way, is somebody calling me on my phone. Not on my phone, John Weinberg. You have to call the station. John Weinberg, call 626-794-2116. John Weinberg. John, you have to call the station. Oh, no, he hung up. Okay. Yeah. Um, You were doing you did were doing a one-woman show. Crazy bitch. I don't know. I don't... Was that what it's called? This was several years ago. Yeah. And it was... In, oh, hello. Hello. It was in... It was in East LA. It was crazy bitch. Was it crazy bitch? Yeah. It was. You were so. You're so talented. And, Thank you. And I stayed afterwards because I was like, I have to meet you. I have to meet this person. She's amazingly. Talented. Oh, you did not come to see me specifically. You just came to that show in general. I think you invited me. I don't remember. I I met you somewhere else, and you invited me, but I had no. You know, I was like. Okay, you know, everyone does a one-person show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll come see your one-person show, you know, sneak oh. in a little reading material just in case. Right, you know. yeah. No, but you were fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. Um, do we have a caller? Is that for us? We do have a caller. And we're going to take this caller, and then we will um, give you also... Uh, uh, who is this caller, by the way? Please. Oh, we have Lisa on the line. Oh, Lisa, Lisa, hello. Hi. How are oh you? my gosh, it's Lisa Bodie. Lisa <laughs> Bodie, everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much for calling. Lisa, do you have a question for Ronnie Butler Jr. Junior. or DeHaley Hall or anyone here at Our Town Pasadena? I guess I just was calling to loud and praise the fabulous Ronnie Butler Jr. He I is. love all his work. Oh my gosh. You, you're so sweet. Now, Lisa actually... Let's talk about Lisa. Lisa actually appears in the video we just saw in Modern U.S. President. She's in the chorus. Oh, my goodness. Yes. A Lisa, happy congratulations. chorus singer. <laughs> what did you say? I'm sorry? A happy chorus singer. I'd follow him anywhere. Oh, my goodness. She's so sweet. A really good friend of mine. We met, do we met doing this show... Um, what was the name of the show, Lisa? <laughs> <laughs> Pilgrim. Pilgrim. We met doing this musical called Pilgrim at the um, Ricardo, Ricardo Montalban, Montalban Theater oh online. Oh, my God. Fantasy Island. Yeah. And, yes. um We met, and uh, th that's a whole story, that show. But we had, uh, we really hit it off, and, you know, it's, that's that's one of the blessings that came out of that experience. You know how you do shows, and, like, Yeah, you know, and then you just bond with people, and then yeah. they're your friends for life. Yeah. Lisa, is he telling the truth, or is there something even more salacious in how you met? <laughs> oh, I wish there were. Oh, my God, I would love that. Lisa, you are a married woman. <laughs> Lisa's like, I wish he would just take me in the back of the chorus, and... <laughs> <laughs> I, I can fit, fulfill my Barack Obama <laughs> fantasy. I know. Fantasy take Island a, callback. Take but, a number. We all want to fulfill that. <laughs> oh, wow. And Lisa, you brought us right to our topic. Is Barack Obama a legitimate president or just a sex symbol? Lisa, let's talk about it. Wow. Can you not be both? Be Good answer. Dance. Lisa with 200 points. Good Woo! answer. Ding, ding, ding. I absolutely think that the State of the Union address sh can be stimulating, not only intellectually, <laughs> but sexually. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, just say it. Say yeah. I was looking. I was trying to figure out how she's going to say it. Yeah, just say it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, you know what I think, Ronnie. Sexually stimulating, but in a very Christian way. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely. God and Jesus would definitely be pleased with that. He's one of his the, his creations. That's right. I yeah. Oh, my stars. I'm going to be in so much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I know who you will be voting for uh, this election time. I think you do. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Lisa, Absolutely. before we let you go, do you have any last things to say to Ronnie Butler Jr.? 
it's well amazing. i think there is just no telling how far his his uh star is going to fly he's a supernova Ooh, i love that oh my ronnie goodness. butler jr supernova, supernova. <laughs> Lisa, if you are also looking for another person to be a part of, I would love to for you to be a part of my entourage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's, you want her on your team. You totally do. I you would, do. Oh I'm, my a, God, I'm that's a great, great team super, player. <laughs> Supernova, that's great. You, I love that. You can't buy that that's kind of loyalty for the year. and fanship. Yeah. I love you, Lisa. Thank you, I Lisa. I love you too, Ronnie. Have a great night. I'll Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. You increased my viewership by maybe 50%. Really? <laughs> Amazing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I thought you were going to say by one person. <laughs> <laughs> no. I have lots of loyal fans out there. Prove it by calling 626-794-2116. Just a little. Uh, um, I actually would love your opinion on this piece that I've done. It's a very raw piece. Okay. It's kind of a, because you're a character actor and you know about characters and I decided to take on a kind of like, let's say a cornucopia of different images um, of, of black people and how they feel about each other in a weird kind of like montage collage okay and um a montage montage Gotta have a montage montage collage <laughs> can we do some more improv singing afterwards absolutely we can do it some more today let's do it right now, right now. montage gotta be a montage, montage. collage montage collage <laughs> montage collage so right now we're going yeah. to the montage collage i love your segues and, so awesome. uh, enjoy and I want to know what you think. Okay. You know black folk. I'm getting a little dark. My name is Nzinga Imani Shakakwe. I'm a hood nigga. I walk the dark king. Ooh. Oh, black folks. This nigga tried to give me his album. I'm just trying to put out my album. I'm just trying to shake. I'm trying to release my single. Cray cray, Ashe. Bitch ass bitches need to recognize this bitch. Ashe, strong shake, cray cray. Amen. I'm rich, bitch. The problem about black folks is niggas out here are crazy. Dr. Cosby is right. I ain't shit. That's your people. My family ain't shit. That's our people. The girl I'm fucking with ain't shit. Bitch. 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 Ugh. Everything out here is a hustle. Niggas always trying to hustle. But they need the muscle. Send that chance. Sit in that chair, damn near rock to death. Go back to Africa. They don't even know how to spell Africa. What? You got all these motherfuckers out here trying to act white. Oh, it's time to get my hair relaxed. Take off that long hair. It's Indian wave, 100%. Damn, damn, damn. I got Indian in my family. Hair weaves like your pins. My tracks is loose. Light eyes, light eyes. Fake nails done by Koreans. No. Mm -mm. Come again. The naps are out. Come again. You know what Oprah needs to do? Oprah! Hook a nigga up. What these people saying now? Oprah's a seller. Hey! Hey! You know what Obama needs to do? What kind of name is Barack Obama? Well, Obama can get it. Jesse Jackson. That's a legal. Mm. Sell out Mahalia Jackson. That's some shame. Clinton was our first black president. You've got to overstand that the white man is trying to take you down. They call me Red Bomb. White people, I will not shop for. See, Lee? I am ashamed of us. I am ashamed of us. We, I make. Can't tell you, motherfucker. Go back to Africa. Let's get the nigga out of here. Fuck you. Cut off your hands. That's what you get when you give something good to black folk. They don't know what to do with it. Dogs should be outside. My crabs when I'm here. Looking like. Bitch, what you looking at, bitch? Black people make me sick sometimes. Stop showing your color. We just hate, hate, hate. Till you do right by me, ain't nothing gonna change. Some deep stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. It's hilarious and sad and strange and it's weird and it's fun, but it's crazy. No, but you tap right into it, you know? That's 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 what's that's really, really smart and and uh smart comedy. You tap right into, you know, 
the what I want to say, the um, you know, the things that we don't want to talk about, you go right there, but you make us, you know, you give us the freedom to laugh about it, but at the same time, shine a light on it. And that's exactly what you want to do. And I think that's exactly what you've done with your next piece that we're going to show oh, later. Oh, segue, segway, baby! Boom, 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 segway! <laughs> you are 3-0. and oh. I'm just, I just love to segue. Mm. Um, Dehaley Segway Johnson um, should be my, my name. Um, no, but I... I really like to do pieces that are kind of thought provoking, that pieces that, um, you know, even though they are maybe focused on black people, some, some of my pieces, but I don't feel like it's just for that audience. It's right. just a kind of universal thing that's going on. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a, anyway. So what I have been very excited about is yes. that you yes. have come up with photographs of your junk Yes, Will you've seen the photographs of my junk. Have I wanted to? <laughs> I thought you were going to bring them tonight, but you haven't. Oh, somebody is. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> this show is live. It's interactive. We keep our cell phones right here with us. Yeah, because we're trying to get people to call. We just get people to call. We get people to say anything. Call 626-794-2116. Let me know what you think about what you've seen so far. We've Ronnie and I have improv songs together. We have talked about his... Oh, oh, we improv the song. song. Well, yeah, we improv the song. Together. Forever. We improv. Oh, that's what we do. <laughs> Just me and, and you. you. <laughs> so stuff like that um, is always available to yeah, you. Yeah, and, and fortunately, we, we amuse ourselves. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Ronnie and I are going to go on the road as Michelle and Barack Obama and as DeHaley and... Ronnie Butler Jr. Um, he actually can sing. He is the talented person musically. I will just Aww. do lots of dancing like this behind, like, mm. just do that two set, uh, uh, just do that two set, uh, uh, just do that. Um, but let's get back to photographs, back to of, me. Your, photographs mm -hmm. of your junk. Yes. Um, just want you to know, we're at the half hour mark. You took this show to the next level. Did I really? Just effortlessly Zoom. into Zoom. 30 minutes. Um, are, we have a caller. We have a caller. We have a caller. Six two six seven nine four twenty one sixteen. Once this caller is up, another one can be back on. Caller, who are you right now? Hi, my name is Nick. I'm in Altadena. Hi, Dave. Nick. Nick. Uh, Nick. Hi, Nick. Yes. Nick, thank you so much for calling from Altadena. Represent what? What? Um, Nick, do you have a question for our illustrious Ronnie Butler Jr.? Nick? <laughs> Chevelle, please stop drinking on the <laughs> live show, everybody. <laughs> Interactive. Wow, he heard my name when he hung up. <laughs> Do you have anything for the illustrious Ronnie Butler Jr.? Uh, mm. No, it's for. Do you have anything for the illustrious Ronnie Butler? <laughs> Um, Nick from Altadena, please call back. 626. No, Nick, don't call back. 626. <laughs> uh, oh, there oh. he is. There he is. He's back. He braved it. I'm, no, I have Six, nothing to say to Nick. He wants to talk to you, no, Ronnie. I have Be nice. 626 794 2116. He called back. Is it Nick? It's someone else. Nick, we Phones want. Phones are ringing off the hook, people. You ringing mean, off. Bring. Who is, who is this? Hi, who are you? Chevelle, please. Hi, who's this? This is Barrett. Barrett! Oh, Barrett! Barrett in the house! I don't know who Barrett is. Hi, Barrett, but I like it. Is it Barrett with two R's and two T's? Two R's, two T's. Oh, fabulous. Uh-huh. Fabulous. You can't get enough consonants. No. Absolutely not. It's a very stagey kind of name. Are you an actor, Barrett? <laughs> ah. Are you an I'm actor, Barrett? Right Are you now. in the business? Hello? Barrett, oh, don't be shy. Oh, sorry, there's a lag, and it really confused me because it's online at the same time. I'm watching it. Barrett. <laughs> Barrett, are you blonde? <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to say this. Turn down your, your radio and listen yeah, Turn to down it. your radio. Turn yeah, down I, the I, got, I, got, just... I had to walk away from my computer. Yeah, walk away. Yeah, step away from your computer. I know. I actually have to go turn it off because it's just... 
too loud right now and it's confusing. <laughs> Bar- Barrett's probably one of those people that when you're talking to him and if there's a reflection of him in the mirror, he'll like start looking at himself while no, I no. could I can just almost kidding. confirm for a fact that he's that kind of person. <laughs> wow. Barrett, I'm that, teasing you only because I'm that voice? kind of person. I will just be like totally talking to myself instead of the other person. <gasps> oh, is that me over my shoulder? Oh. I'm so cute today. Barrett, so do you have a sorry. question? I'm so sorry that I wasn't Nick. I'm so sorry that I wasn't, you know, who you wanted. But oh, I no, I don't know. No, no, don't be sorry you're not Nick. No, okay. you're... <laughs> I don't want... I, I feel like Nick is like a... I, I don't want to disrupt Nick. Nick, please feel free to call back after Barrett, at least. But Barrett, we're happy to have you. Tell well, thank us you. something. I, I'm happy to be here. Ooh. Do you have a question? I've just, for... just got to say, I, I, I've never seen any of your work, and I, that video right there was just hilarious. I just have to know, have you and Ronnie ever worked together on anything? No, because Ronnie doesn't want to work no, with me. No, stop lying. We just <laughs> had this conversation about the piece, which don't say the name again. I will never say okay. it again. But yeah, no, no, no. But we will, th- we will though, now Now that we've cleared that up. Now to that answer your question, Barrett, thank you for asking. Um, we had a little altercation earlier because <laughs> um, she did not, re- uh, Miss Thing did not remember that I'd actually invited her to be be a part of a former piece or a piece that is sort of on the back burner but um, we do have we are going to do something we are going to do something done. Barrett done we may even do it on this show in the future we may even do, do it, it on, on the show, show in the future, future. <laughs> I've just got to say that I have to see that face. I'm going to hold both of you it's accountable like, for you that got, like, it's like Cher um, in like the 70s you like do the oh like you just like it doesn't matter how it comes out as long as you got the singing face that's why I'm so good at karaoke because I'm an awful <laughs> singer but I just dedicate my full body into it. It's, com- it's like commitment. improv. You just have to dedicate. Yeah. That's you right, have to believe it. Wait, have you had the infinite pleasure of working with Ronnie Butler on in a performance? Uh, yes and no. Oh. It's sort of. Well, we yes. met on Sounds his like uh, had done the video shoot of a uh, modern U.S. president. Was he also in the chorus? Well, I was in the chorus. Yes. Are you making everyone in the chorus call it on this show? <laughs> yeah, I was like, listen, if you ever want to work in this town again, you better call me while I'm on the show. <laughs> no, that is awesome. That's such a testament to how many friends and uh, that you have, you know. And also the power of social media. Use it. Mm-hmm. Um, with that, Barrett, I think um, if you do, you have any other questions for Ronnie or for myself? Yes. What do you have? A, ask DeHaley a question. Uh oh. Hmm. Ask DeHaley a question. Our, the host, her name is DeHaley. Are you looking at yourself online again? Stop looking at yourself. I, I, I was a little distracted by the mirror in my apartment. <laughs> I, uh, there's too many of them. Sometimes I get, I get distracted. Um, <laughs> so much beauty. <laughs> so much beauty about it. Uh, um, let me think. I don't think I have anything right, right well, now on top okay, of my head. Because- I'll let you guys get back to it. What I thought was a good way to end, and I was going to do a beautiful segue, but you flubbed that for me, was social media. Social media. And I thought we could show a snippet of uh, your latest project. Please. And, and, and urge people afterwards to really see the full um, five-minute piece online on YouTube. It's gotten a lot of hits. We can only broadcast a snippet of it, just a taste of teaser. Yeah. You know how I like to do it. Like but you can see the full it. thing at youtube.com slash Ronnie Butler. Junior? Mm, no, just Ronnie Butler. Are you your father? Are you yourself? I am you- my own man, Haley. <laughs> and with that, I will cue the... Oh, are you guys <laughs> queued it up over there? Okay. They're going to cue it up for me. And enjoy. Barrett, thank you so much for calling. Anybody yeah. else? Nick, especially? 626 Yes, call back, Nick. I was really only kidding. 2116. Actually, I wasn't. All right, great. No, no, I'm kidding. We love you, Barrett. (laughs) Toodley. Bye, Barrett. Bye. Oh, people are retweeting. Oh, look. The photographs of your junk will be publicized. The photographs of your junk will be publicized. The photographs of your junk will be publicized. Your personal indiscretions, your hyper-virtual obsessions, your erogenous transgressions will be publicized. Because the revolution has been compromised, it has been digitized and rasterized. And so the photos of your junk will be publicized. You 
will no longer hear the buzz of African belly flies. There will not be a weekend wrap-up of the continuing Sudanese genocide. There are far too many characters for every fallen hero to be eulogized. But the photo of your junk? It will be publicized. You will not be alerted. Hey! Gil Scott Heron tribute. Yes, Love we it. should talk about that for a second. Last, last we do poets. have a call. Should we talk about Gil Scott first or what? No, we can't keep David waiting. David, okay. are you there? Hi, welcome to our show. Our, we're in our town, Pasadena, with Ronnie Butler Jr. and DeHaley Hall. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you have a question for our guest or the host? Or the host. Um, well, actually, I had a question for the guest. Ooh. <laughs> I, was wondering, I was wondering if he could do his Pee Wee Herman impression. <laughs> oh! Oh my God! How can you keep that from me? Yes, do it. <laughs> la la la, connect the dots. La la la. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You transformed into him. Uh, did I make the Pee Wee singing face like you make the? Yeah, thing? the full neck was crooked. It was I amazing. I have to. You have to like. I have to totally distend my body to make that sound come out. <laughs> la la la. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! I want to like mimic you. It's like when you're seeing it, like ah. that was great. Thank you, David, for telling him to do that. That was awesome. I forgot I knew how to do that. <laughs> no so problem. You Thank you, Ronnie. You do. Was that it, David? <laughs> Are you gone? Think, He's like, "Be so. and I'm out. I mean, what? Yeah, yeah. That's it. I sent I sent Ronnie a photo of my junk too when the show started. So hopefully, you got that on his phone. Oh yes. Oh, I did. I did. I got a tw I got a tweet from oh, from David that's like a photograph it. of his junk. <laughs> it actually no. literally is just a photograph of junk. <laughs> that is so like just trash on the like, street. Yeah, like there's like yeah, oh, a yeah, bowling that is... ball and like uh <laughs> um I don't know, like a little vacuum cleaner. That's junk. A, a corner of someone's garage. Junk. That's hilarious. <laughs> Thank uh, you, Dave. No we, Oh wait, oh, Todd show wants it. us show to it. show it. Okay. How do we show it, Todd, of his junk? Okay. Just put it in front Here. of the camera. Is, is it, it there? We can't zoom into that, can we, Todd? That's crazy. Should I do it like this? Is it my camera's better? No. No, your camera's not better. No. Okay, his, yeah. his camera. We tried. Better. They get the idea. By the way, a total sidebar. This is not a good segue, it's just a sidebar. Okay. What is going on in my neighborhood is outrageous. Every day, somebody's throwing a new couch on the damn street, <laughs> and I hate it. Where do you live? Anyway, David, okay, moving any on. Questions? <laughs> I, I think I'm I'm all set. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you so Dave. much. Bye. Bye. Good night. So, can I just say a, a shout out yes. to at at there's a Twitter someone on Twitter at Intergalactic. Ooh. Um, tweeted about the show. Tweeted about seeing us on and loved the video and and said I was adorable. So thank you at Intergalactic. Oh my God, thank Intergalactic. You. Yeah, she tweeted about that is so intergarlic. Tick. Oh, gar garlic, garlic. I don't have my glasses on. Intergarlic So that is interesting. Shout out to intergarlic tick. I'm gonna call us intergarlic tick yeah. to, and clarify the meaning of your name. Six two six seven nine four twenty one sixteen. I'm gonna jump like up. anyone could remember that if you say it that fast. <laughs> it's right below me. <laughs> oh, Not, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Six, six, seven, <laughs> I take four, it back. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I just do it for. Here, the call me at five two five six nine seven nine. But that was how. That was <laughs> that was the social security number. Everyone, write that down. Um, lots of people are liking this. Um, I'm going to give a shout out on air to all the people who like this. And they are, it's too long. It's just 20 people who like it. And they're on Facebook. Thank you so much for liking it. Back to Gil Scott Heron. Gil Scott Heron, yes. Back and this Gil. piece. The Revolution. Now you have, you have a piece that, that, that is about the revolution too. I do. I had my first f film... So I can also use filmmaker. Yes, you are a, a filmmaker. That's correct. My first film was called The Memo, and it was about a memo that alerts the black people that the revolution is coming, and one brother doesn't get that memo. <laughs> That's right. It's <laughs> hilarious. It's really wonderful. And I also used Gil in that, too, in the last little... In the last little bit. Last little bit. But this was amazing because it's so appropriate for what's happening in the world. I feel like... You know, we're so candid here on this show. We're so loose and stuff, but mm -hmm. they might take anything we say out of context and use it for us to stop our political career soon. <laughs> That's right. I know you're, and I know you're planning to run for office. I am. Um, 
No, it's 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 crazy. You know, we've we've we the digital age has just taken us over and we've slipped into it, I think, a lot unconsciously. Absolutely. And one of the reasons why I want Oh, there's a phone. One of the reasons why I wanted to use Gil Scott and um, you know, may he rest in peace. He passed away last year just just around this time. I think it was in May last year and um was the inspiration for it. But you know, um you know, he his pieces was a wake up call. Yeah. And saying, you know, uh, consciousness. Right. And um, I felt the same way after the, you know, the whole Anthony Weiner thing last summer, and it was like, no really? pun intended three, or pun intended. Anthony Weiner's Weiner. I was like, really, three weeks of news cycle about this, you yeah. know, and a scandal after scandal. I thought, you know, a, it's too much. Right. Like, who cares? And B, don't these guys realize you just you can't, you cannot put anything out anymore and not expect it to not be seen. That's correct. And I that was to me an indication of the fact that people were living in the new age but had no awareness of the real ramifications of it. Of it at you all. Know? I just do we we have a caller. Let's um, take it. Caller, are you there? Yes. Who is this? Oh, just men. Just lots of wonderful men calling. Oh, in. Lisa Bodie called. Oh Lisa <laughs> shout out to Lisa. Okay. okay. Who is this? Fine. Hello? Hello, how are you? Is it Nick? Yes, this is Nick. Nick, Nick welcome is back. back! Yeah, I love you guys. Watch oh, you guys. thank you, so Nick. Nick! Nick! DeHaley takes back everything she said. Let's do a song for okay. Nick. Nick, Nick, he dropped the call, but now he's on the phone. He came back to us, Nick. I and love Nick. you. <laughs> oh, yes! 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 yes, three-way singing. I so what's it. up, Nick? Welcome. Thank you for calling back. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to thank you guys for your program, and uh, you guys have really been a blessing tonight for me. And, oh, uh, I'm oh so God. glad. Wait, thank is you. Is this one of your friends? No, I don't know this person. Nick, I, do I know you personally? No, I, I've never seen you before, but oh I, I watch the Arroyo channel all the time. Oh, I've never seen right. anything this entertaining before. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's thank you very much, yes. Nick. Okay. I really appreciate it. Woo! So that's it. But I, I'm going to keep you guys in my prayers and God bless you. Okay. Thank, thank you, you, Nick. So much, Nick. Thank Shout you for out calling. To Nick. That was amazing. Okay, very cool. cool. Just proves that it is not just my own friends and your own friends. I know. I know. Watching I know. this. And I'm sure while Nick was on the line, four or five thousand other people were trying to get through. Oh, millions, <laughs> millions! Shout out to Lisa, Barrett, right. David, David Nick. Nick. Woo! Very nice. Six two six seven nine four twenty one sixteen. Blah, Isabella. Six two six seven nine four twenty one. 16. 16. Should we sing that one? 626 794 2116. Oh, I can't find a pitch if you're going to move around. Okay. Okay. I feel like I've been on kind of point. Maybe it's all my watching the voice. Okay. I want to tell you one person or two people, a couple of crazies who have really done very well with social media. Okay. Rihanna and Chris Brown. Okay. They have now re-aired their relationship, their tortured relationship, I think just for the sake of more record sales, and it's working. Mm -hmm. If I go ahead and stab you right now, <laughs> I might get more viewership. Let's find out. about this before. No, <laughs> no. no, no. I want to have a fun, loving The Kardashian show. divorce. Yes. Same thing. Although right? she has gone... Kind of MIA for a while, which I'm very pleased about. So maybe there was some Rima. She went too far. Well, I know it's that's just smart. You know, you don't want to have one hit album right after another hit album. So she's probably taking a little breather, letting people get a little break before coming out with the next thing. But come on, you know. Although, do you really think that you and I could be ever oversaturated? <laughs> no, I don't think so. We're far too lovable and adorable. I know. No one would, I mean, they can't get enough of us. What? Wait. One hour without DeHaley and Ronnie? Never. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I just want to sing so there much. There would be riots in the streets. Uh, burn this yeah, mother down. That's right. If you feel like you can't get enough of Ronnie Butler Jr. and DeHaley Hall, please call 626 794 21 16. Oh, you, like to, you like the 2116? 2116. I like the 2116. Okay, that's the difference between us, so go for it. 2116. 2116. And there, oh. I feel like God. I feel like I'm just like commanding the universe. See, now you know how the, how hard CERN feels. Yeah, that's true. Or 
that horrible Rush Limbaugh. Sir, you're inappropriate. Okay. I said it. Okay. P.S. Who, who do we have on the line? Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Ralph. Is this the Ralph? Hello. Montaz Colas. Montage Collage. He's singing our new song, Montage Collage. That is for oh Jahalia and Ron that Butler. Cool. Thank you. That is our new single, Montage Collage. Montage Collage. <laughs> Jahalia, first of all, your hair looks fabulous. Thank you. Guess what, Ralph? I'm thinking of lightening it. So next, uh, in two weeks, I'm not on next week's show, but I'm on the week after. It's, it's going to be a blonde ray of sunshine. Not full blonde, but some streaks in there. Oh, really? Just, okay. Just hints and sparkles of blonde. Fierce. Fierce. Thank you. What about Ron's hair? <laughs> Ron's hair is fierce. I love how he has it tonight, Ronnie. That's great. Thank you. It's such a great thing. Like, I mean... It's almost like you're not even wearing hair, you know? <laughs> you're just so astute. I love Ralph. Oh, my goodness. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> he put us on hold. He put us on hold on a live radio. I'm, oh, no. What are we on? Public access. Yeah, we are on show. live TV. Yeah. Okay, I'm back with you. <laughs> wow. Wow. Thank you, Ralph. Wow. Thank you, Ralph. Wow. Do you have yeah, a with call Ronnie? waiting. You know, that's how the times are now with the new media. It is like you have just got to go get that phone, get that tweet. And I learned that from Ronnie about how social networking is so important. Ronnie, are you still doing your social network classes? Yeah, I teach I teach uh, social media for creatives. Like, you know, once a month I have a workshop. I have, actually have a Twitter workshop this Saturday. Please, let's pr talk about it. Twitter workshop this Saturday. Yes. Write it down here, and I'll give it to Todd, and hopefully we can put it up on the screen later Sure. Today. Um, yeah, you should definitely. Ronnie is a king of that. Ralph, how has he helped you elevate your career? Well, first of all, it was Ronnie that talked me into getting on Facebook initially back a couple of years ago. Don't lie. Then... It was last month. No, no. You were no, still no. on MySpace. <laughs> I was lie. like, MySpace? He was and still then... on Friendster trying to make friends. Okay. And Ronnie was like, can you get on Facebook? Talked... He subsequently talked me into getting on Twitter and showing me how valuable it can be for anybody, no matter where you are, on this planet doing whatever you're doing and it really is true because I mean, if for, for every person that says oh god it's so silly and you know what are you going to talk about I mean that can be true too but it's also amazing how you can glance at your phone totally get a tidbit of information that can change something or really you know motivate you to do something else or just get some knowledge it's just it's very exciting and because our time now on this planet is of this technological advance. Either you want to take advantage of it or you don't. But oh, you if you don't. take advantage, if you do, it's really a lot of fun. But so Ronnie has taught this. us how to harness all of that into making fun for just daily living <laughs> and for your career as well. You're right, but Ralph, with Facebook and Ronnie, please weigh in on this. Sure. They are now going to force us into a kind of timeline where they will call every photo, unless, unless you go in there and really take those photos out, just catalog cataloging your life throughout that has been available for on um, the Internet for all to see. And for performers like us and... There are things that will be unearthed that we did not necessarily put up. How do you feel about that? You gotta go. You gotta go into that stuff, and you gotta scrub privatize it, it remove, remove it, scrub it. If you don't want it out, don't put it on. That's a simple thing because there is no privacy. There is no privacy anymore. But do you realize? So what were you saying that with the timeline, they'll be able to extract photos that are not even already on Facebook? Yes, my point is, even if you have not posted it yourself, right. they are integrating lots of different websites, other people's feeds. They will go out and to they will IMDb go out, and grab your picture from there. Google it and grab it in, that and is, then that then is, it's that there. Is, that's the world that's coming. Yeah. That's wow. The, that's, and that's, that's, that's kind of the, the, you know, the, one of the points of my piece, the photographs of your junk, is sort of 
ringing the alarm bell going this is coming right you know you get we got to figure out what to do about it if you don't want to go but like i said most people just go oh wow that's horrible that's awful yeah and then you know and then yeah. you move on to the and next, thing, on right? to the next and thing sex to picture to somebody you know wow i didn't realize that, i mean i understood always what your message was about don't put photographs of your anything you photograph or put online it will be out there but i didn't realize that that Facebook would be able to... I didn't know that by having the timeline that they could find a picture from 1970. I don't know. I just well, heard that when Daily said you it. You should... We'll, you can definitely look into it, and I want you... We'll have to, like... Maybe on my next show, I'll clarify more of it. But we have five minutes left. I'm so happy that you called ralph i love hearing your voice and then the fact that you oh my god we're gonna we're gonna tweet a, we're gonna do gonna, video so we're gonna take a photograph we're, we're taking a photograph, photograph get closer online. get closer okay and we're gonna i'm gonna instagram this photo just say, hi hi i love it to haley your video is hysterical isn't it funny isn't she oh fantastic oh my goodness that shit is so <laughs> it's i love your maya angelou character <laughs> thank you so that much shit, delay, delay, delay. you know what still our eyes <laughs> <laughs> Still our um, eyes. Unfortunately, with our show, we could only have one caller at a time, and I'm going to leave you because I love you. Just in case there's one more of Ronnie's fans. No, go take fans another caller. You guys. Call. I Thank love you, you Ralph. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ralph. Wait, wait, what? What? Before you go, Ralph, where can we see you on, on performing anywhere? Right now, you can see me in the photographs of your junk by Ronnie Butler. That'll be a nice <coughs> oh, little yeah, segue yeah. for everybody oh, watching nice this piece in, in its entirety. Yes. And I'm also a part of Modern U.S. President, and you can find me on Twitter at Ralph Cole Jr. Thank you so much, Ralph. Good Bye. night. We love Bye you. Bye, Bye, Ralph. Bye. Okay, I know people at home are seeing me talk to Ralph, and but I'm actually look, and looking at my phone at the same time, which you probably happens to you when you're out on a dinner date, and you think, why am I with this lousy sack of... Okay. Um, but I thought just to, to be in the spirit of, of social media things that I would take an Instagram picture of, of DeHaley and I and Instagram it right now. And then can you also tweet it too? Oh, honey, it's going to... Uh, the, the, it goes the, to everything. Mm -hmm, the Instagram gets forwarded to the Tumblr blog, which oh, gets forwarded to the Twitter account, which gets forwarded to the Facebook. Okay! Yay! We have two minutes left. This is okay, all what you, whatever do? you want to do. This is your world. If you want to sing with me, if you want to talk about your thing. We also have, can we just throw up again Ronnie's title? Because um, we have your website where oh, that's we, cool. they can do follow to be... No, instructed on how to better do their Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And there it is. That's ibroadcastmyself.com. I yeah, Fantastic. there's information there. You can, you know, all you can, everything. Actually, if you just go to my website, ronniebutler.com, you can click there to go to my Tumblr blog. You can find my, my Twitter account. There's links to the videos. You know, that's the one-stop shopping. But, yeah, Twitter, at Ronnie Butler, and that's the easiest way to get a hold of me. I... All I want to say is this has been so much fun. I actually want to do this every week. I actually want to, I've been on, this is really my secret sidekick audition. Oh my God. <laughs> I think we're amazing together. I want to be your sidekick. Oh my yeah. God. You don't even have you know, to I want to, I want to be your, I want to be your Andy Richter. Oh I want to sit in the chair next to, next to you and, and over your laugh. shoulder. And you know, you can just throw one to me every once in a while. And we could just, you know, yeah. Yeah. I think this would be cool. Or I'll just come in like in between and do like, we'll do like really weird ske sketches or something and scare your guest. I would love that. Yeah. I think in order, how much time do we have Todd and Chevelle? One minute. I think we need to sing it out. Or no, should we not? I, well, you know what? Let's thank all the people who called. Yes, let's, let's do it. Thank um, all of the people who are watching, Nick and people like him, thank you so much. Thank you um, for callers. watching us tonight. Thank you, callers. Thank you for the people who didn't get through. Thank you for all my friends and followers on Twitter who are so supportive. Mine too. Thank you, thank you, to Haley, for having me on your show, thank for treating you. me so good, for being in the know. Oh, <laughs> thank you for letting me, letting me grow. Thank you, thank you for being on my show. Show. <laughs> That's what we do. Oh no, are we now reinforcing the black stereotype that black people just sing? Oh and no, dance? I don't think so. No, and, and we will end <laughs> with a really British don't think so. Cheerio! I won't be here next <laughs> week, but there'll be a wonderful lady named Jen, and then I'll be back with. The Brown Bettys, a burlesque dance troupe. Oh, wow. Do not want to miss it. It's going to be exciting. If you want to be on my show, tweet me at at DeHaley, or you can just call me up like Ronnie Butler did if you have my number. Yeah. Why aren't I on your show? 
Toodaloo. Peace out. Fight the power. <laughs>